H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Thank you. Okay, so um, I have been teaching for the past eight years, so I like teaching very much. So, yeah. Okay. So now let me uh, let me quickly refresh. Like, what are the topics we covered uh, till yesterday's class? So I'm just clicking on dot net and uh, material. Yeah, course content. Yeah. Okay. Now, just a second. Okay. So now, if you see here, um, so let me quickly refresh. Like, what are the topics we covered? So we discussed on number systems. Uh, we also discussed on memory units. And uh, we discussed on .NET Framework overview, uh, types of applications that can be developed using .NET Framework, and we saw like uh, what is .NET Framework class library. So, okay, and then we also saw Hello World application, Hello World C# -sharp program, structure of C# -sharp program. We saw what is a namespace, what is console, what is window, uh, what is response dot. I mean, console dot write line all those things and then we saw how to compile and execute c sharp program without using visual studio we also learned about why do you need why do we need visual studio and then we saw data types in c sharp operators in c sharp and also we saw about control structures in c sharp so we saw uh, if condition if else else if and then we also saw um, uh, while loops we saw while loop do while loop for loop so we saw about loops and then we also saw what are the types of variables value type and reference type and we saw the three differences between value, st value type and reference types and we learned about functions functions are specifically used for reuse reusability and then we also saw about arrays so arrays are collection of similar data types we saw how to declare an array and then we saw have you learned any collections in previous class have we discussed about collections okay so today we are going to discuss about collections and generics okay so so before that before collections and gen generics I want to cover this uh, exception handling so we'll cover this exception handling and then we'll come back to collections and generics so so let me open Visual Studio uh, so now we are going to discuss about exception handling exception handling so anyone knows uh, what is exception handling anyone knows for those who already have some C sharp background what is exception handling try and catch block yeah you're right so any any other answer Jesse Padmini Parmila or Sandhya Sarika so what is exception handling okay yeah the name says like error handling okay so let's try to understand uh, exactly why we need this uh, why we need this exception handling yeah yeah so I'm getting a um, um, mean few answers yeah all of you are correct so let me create new project file new project and uh, I'm going to select console application so I'm going to select C sharp first visual C sharp and then I'm going to select console application and click on OK so yes so I'm clicking on OK so so exception handling is primarily for example let's say for example if someone comes to you some someone say for example you started a com you started a software solutions company and uh, if someone comes to you and asks for 
asks for uh, giving an application for can you give me an application for adding two numbers okay so uh, someone came to you and asked for can you give me an exe file which will add two numbers which will enter first number i which will ask me to enter first number and also which will which will ask me to enter second number and i need to see the adding two numbers so can you give that so what you will do you will open console application and 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 here you will do um, you will write here console dot right line console dot right line enter first number okay so now after that you will write here so before that you will declare two variables int a comma b okay and then maybe you'll write c three variables you will write and then a is equal to you will write convert dot to int to int 32 and you will write console dot read line okay so again you will write the same thing for for reading for reading so now here i will write here b okay so before getting uh, further on this so how many of you have taken the exam the link which yesterday so i saw some answers so you'll be getting the scorecard tomorrow but how many of you have taken uh, let me ask this way how many of you have not taken not taken the exam I have sent the link for all of you so please uh, please respond to there yeah so for those who have not taken please take it today after the class please take the exam okay so so we'll discuss the answers in next class uh, yeah yeah so exercises I, I I'll send it today without fail so so please take the exam all of you must take the exam so the link which is there you can take it today as well okay so I'll also send individual scorecards for all of you okay now now C is equal to a plus B now what you will do here so you will write here console dot right line and and you will write here sum of numbers sum of you will write like this sum of 0 sum of 0 and 1 is you will write is you will write here 2 and here you will write comma a comma b comma c so so now you will write like this so how to create the exe file so you cannot tell him to take the file take oh, install visual studio run this and then you will be able to add the numbers so you cannot tell that person who asked you so so how can i give exe for him can you please tell me how I can give the exe file for him? Okay, let me compile it. So I got some answer, so I need to compile it. So so let me right click on this, rebuild the solution. So this is how we compile a project. So let me rebuild this. So so rebuild all succeeded. I don't see any errors now. Now how can where is the exe file? Where is the exe file for this? anyone knows where is the exe file if you have if you are if you are compiled if you have compiled using uh, notepad and done with the csc file name it would have created exe file in the same folder now when i right click on this yeah correct it 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 is in this folder right click on this open containing folder open containing folder and where it will be it will be inside which folder here So I'm seeing three folders, bin, obj, and properties. So inside which folder that exe will be there? That exe will be there inside bin folder. And inside debug folder, you will see this console application 48.exe. So this is what you have to rename it and give to that person. So I repeat again, when you are done with this project, when you are done with this project, you need to rebuild this. You need to rebuild this. And, and you need to right click on this program.cs so here you will see program.cs so so now right click on this right click on this open containing folder open containing folder inside bin you will see debug or release folder you will see some folder inside this and double click on this you will see console application 48.exe now copy this only when you compile after compiling you will see it here before compiling you will not see this so copy this and put it in the desktop or or copy it to pen drive and you can share this with with the person who has asked this application for you so now just rename it to add numbers 
okay so now I have made it to add numbers now when I click on when I click on this double click on this you can see enter first number enter first number 5 enter okay I should enter second number should be there here so I'm entering 16 here so now click enter so so why it is coming output and it's moving off so it just showed the output and, and actually it moved up so the user is not able to see the output so what you need to do you need to correct your code so you need to uh, yeah I need to add console dot read line here console dot read line so once I add this also let me correct the other one enter second number now I need to rebuild again every time when I make code change for this every time when I'm making code change I need to rebuild it again so right click on this rebuild now again go to this folder right click on this open containing folder go to bin debug and then copy this right click on this copy this and then windows d go to desktop and delete the previous one delete it and paste it again and then rename it to add numbers or, or let it be there so now when i click on this i'm entering first number five second number sixteen now i can see output as sum of five and sixteen is twenty one so he'll be happy but now what happens is for example instead of yeah so now what if what if we give some number for example by mistake he has given he typed a okay instead of instead of typing number I mean he typed a and he press enter so he will see something like this so do you think he will feel happy so do you think any user who is using your application sees something like this he will not be happy so so normally application users will not be so so technically friendly so even if he enters a or something you should try to display some friendly message you should not uh, you should not try to uh, give this sort of exceptions so he will feel uh, he will not be happy so customer will not be happy if he sees screen like this so for that for that reason what we need to have is we need to have proper exception handling mechanism so so now we need to add here here a try try block so inside the possible chances of exception taking place so I need to add a try and here I need to put close it and then we need to add catch here okay so so let me uh, remove this control X so let me put catch below this here so all these statements I have mentioned inside try block and here I am writing a catch block catch uh, so what is the exception we got now if anyone has saw that exception what is that exception we got so let me uh, let me show you again so 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 let me remove this I wanted to see the exception so let me remove it delete it and let me delete it okay so now let me run this here itself yeah yeah so let me run this here itself enter first number I have given a and see what happens so when I enter A here, we can see that what is the error it's taking. So now, now you can see the error here. See now, uh, the error is unheralded exception, system dot format exception. So we have different types of exceptions. So this format is not like an integer format, so it is not able to convert. So we are seeing system dot format exception, system dot format exception. So now, what I'll do here, I will stop this. I will catch that exception that format exception so so I write here try block and inside this I'll have try and then I'll close the try and then here I'll put catch what is that exception format exception so format exception and then I'll give some variable ex and here I'll write here console dot write line okay I'll mention here only I'll type here only numbers are allowed please close and open again okay so now I have mentioned in the exception when when the exception of this type occurs only numbers are allowed please close and open the application again open application again okay so now let me run this So okay, I forgot to put the semicolon here. So I need to put a semicolon at the end of this statement. So let me add semicolon. Now let me rebuild it. Let me rebuild it and again go to the folder open containing folder. Right click on this open containing folder. 
go to bin debug copy this right click on this copy this now go to desktop now now delete the previous version and paste it so now let's try to double click on this so now let me enter by mistake uh, the customer has entered a now see here only numbers are allowed please close uh, close and open the application again so so this way this way user will be okay by mistake also if he is entering something he is uh, he is able to uh, get the user friendly message so if i enter here megna and try to something so only numbers are allowed please close and open the application so this is called exception handling proper exception handling now let's try to understand by mistake he 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 wants to add some large number so for example this much number this much big number okay so okay so good question so what if without closing if you want to continue uh, i'll tell that later so now so the customer wants to add very big number i mean a customer by mistake entered a big number and press enter so so now what happens when he press enter here so again he is getting some other exception what is that exception we are seeing here so what is the type of exception we are seeing here if you can focus here you can see the error here so so we are getting we are getting an overflow exception because because this number this number is very large it cannot be stored in integer so so you need to tell the customer please try uh, please try small number okay so in that case what we need to do here we need to add an exception called overflow exception so again you need to write here catch catch overflow exception ex and you need to tell him like uh, console dot write line please try with please try entering smaller numbers so, and then please close and open the application again So I got a question saying like, what if, uh, what if, how to do it without closing the application? So I'll I'll tell that later. Now, now let me rebuild it again. So let me rebuild this, and then open containing folder. So like this, before delivering the project, you have to ensure that you have catch, you have covered all the exceptions. Otherwise, the user will not be user uh, or the person to whom you gave the application, they will not be happy. So copy this, and then go to desktop, and then and then delete this. And paste the new one. Okay, so now double click on this. You can see enter first number. If I enter very big number by mistake, now when I press enter, please try entering smaller numbers. Please close the application and open again. So now, now they will know that okay, I should not enter any any characters, or I should not enter too big values. So like this, like this, you are telling, you are catching all the possible exceptions. This is what we call as exception handling. So exception handling is uh, predicting that the possible errors and catching them without showing that to the customer. So if customer sees that he'll be unhappy, so he'll not come back to you again. So we have to ensure that we catch all the exceptions. Okay. So for that reason, how to catch exceptions? We do it using try catch block. So we do it using try catch blocks. So let me explain a bit on this now. So now before adding try catch blocks please assess or please analyze where are the possible scenarios for the exception for example this place we are we are writing we are actually converting a string to integer so this is the this could be one place where we might get exception because this string can be a number or can be a string or can be anything so when you try to convert a string to in 2 in 32 this will throw an error format exception so so for that reason we have included all the three all these lines inside try block and we have written catch so what happens is when so when this is executing like this from the beginning line by line the execution will happen so first f enter first number and then and then it will go to enter second number and then so for example if any exception occurs here in this line okay so first the user has entered enter first number he entered uh, he entered megna by mistake he entered meg so now what happens this convert dot to int will throw error and directly it will come to exception this statements will not be executed so in case if any exception occurs the statements below below 
uh, the statements below the try block below this statements will not be executed directly it will come to catch catch of the specific exception which you are giving okay so i repeat again i repeat again so in case of any exception in any line the statements below that exception will not be executed it will directly come to the catch block okay so see now okay so good question so now when i run this i'm getting another question saying like what if the user enters uh, by mistake he wants to add 10.5 and 10.5 plus 11.5 so here also again we are getting format exception because uh, because convert a to int will only uh, will only will cannot convert 10.5 10.5 will be removed so that is also coming under format exception okay so if you want to add decimals as well you need to declare them as float you need to declare them as float and you need to do you need to use it uh, what is that for float what is the system name for float what do i need to write here dot 2 yeah yeah so i need to write dot 2 single this is what i need to write for float okay so dot 2 in 32 okay so all of you should know that so okay now now the customer came to you so customer came to you and asked for can i get for division of two numbers so in that case uh, in that case division of 0 by is 2 so you need to write here by divided by okay so now uh, now the requirement for you is you have to find divided by divided by so now let, let's rebuild this let's rebuild it and then and then open containing folder open containing folder now we are doing for not addition we are doing for division so go to bin folder debug folder copy this copy this and then go to desktop paste it copy and replace so I replaced it okay so it's not replacing because because it's it's I'm using it here so close it so delete it then and then paste it again okay so now we are seeing we are going to see division application so I'll enter here 6 I'll enter second number as 3 so I should see the answer as 2 because 6 by 3 is 2 division of 6 by 3 is 2 okay well and good happy so now what happens if the person enters first number 6 and second number 0 so what is 6 by 0 ping me in the chat window your answer what is 6 by 0 no 6 by 0 is not 0 what is the answer for 6 6 by 0 I want to see the response from all of you so I'm not seeing the response from some of you what is the value for 6 divided by 0 it will tell you it is not a number so it will get an exception now see now see so we are getting exception what is that exception we are seeing here what is the type of exception we are seeing here no it is not format exception it is not format exception you can see here are you able to see this line are you able to see this line what is the exception now if you are able to see what is the exception can you ping me in the chat window yeah it is actually divide by zero exception so divide by zero exception so so what I need to do here I need to write another exception saying like catch system divide by zero exception so in case if you think that how can I predict all the errors I cannot predict all the errors how can I how can I ensure that uh, I'll get format exception how, how, how can I ensure that I'll get overflow exception I cannot predict all these exceptions is there any solution for that in that case what you can do is instead of adding all these exceptions like this what you can do is you can actually uh, you can actually put one simple ex simple uh, catch catch exception ex and and then you can mention here some exception occurred
okay so like this so so you can you can actually give the details of the developer so so in case if you don't want to add the specific exceptions you can give here some exception occur please reach out to uh, some mail id so in this case what happens is when the customer sees some exception he will he will try to call you he will try to reach you and tell you uh, hello i am entering this inputs but i am not saying i am getting some uh, i am not i am getting this message what could be the reason so in that case you will guide him so what you can do is you can actually try to catch the exceptions to the best possible extent and at the end you add this catch exception like this so for example let me do one thing so so let's try to have the previous exceptions which we have along with that we will try to have so this is the previous exceptions these are the previous two exceptions along with this we'll have instead of adding divided by zero so i'm adding like this so i have format exception i have overflow exception if any exception occurs other than these two this will come to general exception so this catch exception is a super exception this exception is a super exception which will catch all these exceptions okay so now if i run this since i have not added divide by exception divide by zero exception see what happens i entering 9 i am entering 0 so it will come to catch exception ex see now some exception occurred please reach out to megna so so this is the use of exception ex so this exception ex is a super exception which always has to be there at the at the bottom for example um for example if i add this at the top if i add this at the top so since this is super exception this will catch all the exceptions even if it's format exception even if it's overflow exception this will catch all the exceptions in that case you will never see this okay that's the reason why i'm getting an error see now what is the error here so so a previous catch clause see now see the error a previous previous catch clause already catches all exceptions of this or or of a super type so so what did you learn from this you should always have this catch where this generic catch exception ex you should always have where okay so this catch exception should be there always at the bottom of all the exceptions do you agree with me all of you how about others yeah so so please respond so that uh, so that i will i'll also understand like you guys are getting it so so this exception catch exception which is of super exception which will catch all types of exceptions so in case you are writing your own exceptions use your own exceptions like format exception overflow exception ensure that you put this generic exception at the bottom of all exceptions okay so i need to put it here okay now 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 okay now what if what if i want to display uh So how many times I am writing this? Please close the application and open application again. How many times I am writing this? In every catch I am writing this. In every catch I am writing this. Please close application and open again. Please close application. I open again. So I don't want to do that. So in that case, what I can do is, uh, uh, what I can do is I can actually write a finally block, finally block, finally. finally block and inside that i can actually write console dot write line okay and and i can mention this one so i don't want to repeat this uh, message in all the catch blocks because in future if they want to change the message uh, if they ask you to change the message or if they ask you to remove the message you have to remove manually in all the places all the exceptions so so instead what i can do is i'll put it in finally statement so i'll remove from here so so now i have this message only at one place which is there inside this finally block so the use of this finally block is the use of this finally block is irrespective of the exception occurs or not this finally block will be executed always will be executed always okay so so let me run this so now if i enter if i enter uh, abc click on enter see now only numbers are allowed please close and open application again so that is the use of 
finally block so if if you see if any exception occurs as i told before the statements below the place of exception will not be executed for example if i write here console dot write line hello okay so i have written here console dot write line hello okay so now if i run this and and say for example say for example if i enter abc click on enter only numbers are allowed i am not seeing this i am not seeing this message hello console dot write line hello because why i am not seeing is the exception is occurred in this line so when exception occurs these statements will not be executed it will directly go to catch block for that reason if you want to ensure that h2k emphasis provides world class online it training staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide h2k emphasis how we are different from our competitors 100% job oriented training hands on project work cloud test lab resume preparation and review mock interviews robust syllabus one time fee and lifetime access to classes access to recorded sessions of live classes h2k emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide for a free demo class visit us at h2kemphasis.com